Ah, you're already here. I was just about to come get you. Wow, you're up early. That's impressive, especially after all the drinking last night. Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. I heard many areas have been attacked by the Abyss, including the Masters of the Nightwind. I need to head back right away. The Abyss attacked again? Are you sure you can handle it on your own? Do you need our help? I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warriors stationed at the various outposts. Given the quick response, things shouldn't get too serious. The stadium could always use more manpower, so you should join the forces here. I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. I was the one who vouched for him, so I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. As for the ancient name, once we handle this crisis, I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry. I never forget a promise to a friend. Thank you. All right, I need to start heading back. She left in a hurry. The situation must be really serious. Uh... Oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. Let's see what's going on! People are over here! Oh, perfect. Our star Outlander has appeared. Oh, you're all here! But, uh... What's with the whole star Outlander thing? Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. Run down to the situation first. The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty, the Masters of the Nightwind, the Children of Echoes, and a number of our camps and outposts in the wild. Yes, and the attacks are increasing in frequency. The tribes have plenty of defenses, so they're safe for now, but I can't say the same for the adventurers and merchants stuck in the wild. Chaska and I have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty, just in case my tribe needs me. What about you, Mulalani? Where are you gonna go? I'll go help the Children of Echoes. They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. What about you guys? We could go together. Yeah, that does sound important. No worries. Just leave the Children of Echoes to us. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the Abyss on the run by the time you're finished. That would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. Let's part ways here for now. And most importantly, be careful, everyone. Oh, and some of us need to avoid getting contaminated by dangerous-looking substances. That will make my job a lot easier. <sighs> Koichi, do we really have to do this now? <laughs> it's all right. She's just looking out for everyone. All right, let's hurry up and talk to the Pyro Archive so we can help the others. Oh, it's you two. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. That's all right. We're also in a hurry. We're gonna go help the Children of Echoes after this. What? So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. The Gnosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. 
I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan, but it comes at a heavy price. The Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? But does that mean... Yes, it means sacrificing those souls in the process. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net. Ra Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. Given the enormity of the price, it's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win, and what that means for us in the end. Now it's true, both plans come at a risk, but after weighing our options, this is our best bet. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tavat. Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyro Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the Captain learned this information. Another way to solve the problem. Could be easy. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I see no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down, so he can answer that question for us. Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me, even if just for a second. Not even a little! We would never- Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? <laughs> just as expected. I- Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We- So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? You scared, Paimon. You've really got a lot of guts, Traveler. <sighs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to call me Mawika. It's what all my friends call me, and I like it that way. As for the Captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. That's great! Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer. Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warriors stationed in those areas can handle it. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Wait! You're going to fight in person? Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natlan. 
Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. <sighs> yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. She can't be too far ahead. <laughs> no need to worry about me. Quick, over here! To safety! <sighs> Kachina, how many people do you have left? There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. I... I really thought I was done for. I can't thank you enough. Don't worry about it. We're just glad you're okay. Let's see... Your goods look fine too. Guess the Abyss isn't after Mora. That should be the last Abyssal Pylon near the Children of Echoes. By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. The Masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. <sighs> that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. All right, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. Ugh, the abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm and there were already so many monsters. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. You always find a way to cheer people up. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. And somehow the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution, but refusing to use it. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. We talked to Moika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Life is important. But so are history and memory. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is... If the Captain found a new way to save Natlan, 
How come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? Ugh, this is so super confusing. Hmm. We still don't have enough information. Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, well... Let's head back then. Moika said her intelligence officer should return soon. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. I was just about to ask. Count me in. <sighs> if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. Register? <laughs> nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. All right. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! Marika! Oh, Chaska and Kuichi are here! Wait. Are you okay, Kuichi? Uh, I'm fine. No need to worry. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. The Fatui? Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Watch out. It's the Fatui. Were they attacked by the Abyss? No, wait. It looks like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. You're right. That's a traveling group from Natlan. Could they be... Tra Let's keep observing for now. We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. If you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Oh, okay. We can do that. But... We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything illegal. Our captain simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. G got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. It's too early to say. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. Well, I was pretty helpful, right? You know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. <laughs> I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. More time we waste the more dangerous this becomes. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. 
The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from Natland don't know how to use it. Why would this be... Hmm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Come on, let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? No reason to stop now. <clears throat> what was that sound? Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! What? <sighs> You'll regret that! After them! Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. So, Koichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> she pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. But it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. I've prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Koichi home now. <laughs> well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite Saurus crackers, then... Uh, I accept. Thank you, Archon. What am I gonna do with you? There's some for the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> 